when you think of Miss Bikini Wahini, Miss Sunfun, Miss Myrtle Beach. You think of this morning's guest, Miss Hilda Meter, coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Elizabeth Maddox Chapin Library on the Grand Strand campus of Ori Georgetown Technical College. We're focused on the Miss South Carolina pageant and the local Miss Myrtle Beach pageant. And we're visiting with its executive director, the photojournalist from the Myrtle Beach Herald, Hilda Carter. Good morning, Hilda. Good morning Hilda. to you. Yes, yes. What an exciting treat to get you in on Memorial Day. A I big know. celebration today. All the veterans that have yeah. gone out of their way to protect us. Yes. And supply their incredible talents on behalf of And also all to be here at, uh, at the college and, and uh, this room, like the Elizabeth. Uh, Maddox Chapin Library. Yeah. Miss Mad um, Patterson was a very good friend of mine. Isn't I used to right? have tea with her. No. Yes, I did. Is that Wonderful right? Of course, woman. this is the Harry Hartshorn uh, reading Yes, room. and Harry's a good friend of mine, too. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Another great setup. Well, yeah. later this week, tomorrow, you know, we've got the dentist who's been practicing 57 years oh. in Durham who is working on the Oral Longevity Project. We're going to be out at Coastal Carolina University in the boardroom oh, tomorrow good. at the E. Craig Wall Senior uh, College of Business Administration. We're going to be out there tomorrow morning at 7, yes. part 2 of Dr. Baxter Sapp. Oh, and yeah. then on Wednesday, we've got an older gentleman, an 89-year-old, uh, the son of, uh, the father of Larry Biddle, a guy named Kenny oh, Biddle. Yes, I who know is spending the Biddle. Uh, very exciting. He's been here since 1995, and he's spending the summer down in Merle's Inlet. So I hope you'll tune back in on Wednesday. Actually, on oh, Thursday right. and Friday, yes. we have H. Neil Wilson, the president of Ori yeah. Georgetown Technical College. Yes. A real opportunity to get him yeah. in this Thursday and Friday. So mm -hmm. we really appreciate you getting in on Memorial Day, Hilda. Yes. And for yes. Ori Georgetown opening up the oh, library here it. to let us in at 7 a.m. Yeah, it, it was nice of them. It is. It yeah. really is. A lot going on. Did you, are you got some big plans for Memorial Day? Uh, no, not really, but I might be going to Florence. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yes. very exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. amazing when we think about all the things going on. But if a viewer needs to get off, uh, get off to, obviously a lot of people aren't working today, mm -hmm. and surely no one's in school, but a lot of people may want to get out of the house early. Oh, yeah. If they want to learn more about the pageant, is there a good phone number for someone to call? Well, um... Yes, uh, they can call my, my home oh, number. Great. If I'm okay. not there, sure. uh, I have a answering service that right. picks it up. Okay, what number I is call, that? It's 843-449-8949. Uh, right. Right. Yes. There's so much that has to happen to get ready for the big pageant. Oh, which I will know. be held uh, next year. Next year. Next yeah. Year. Are you, have you already set a date, Hilda? Uh, we had not set the date. Right. We will have a committee meeting in the next two or three weeks, okay. and we'll set all those dates. But I'm so excited about the show for next year. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm not going to let anything out right now, but I've got some great entertainers that will be in the show. Entertainment. The entertainment for yes. this year's show was so big oh, on February 17th listen, up at the Carolina Opry. I opened the show, the Miss Myrtle Beach Teen was first, and I opened the show with little Gabby Ray. Oh, yeah. And we built the whole thing around her, and the girls came out and more or less was dancing with her as she was singing, and oh, yeah. it was just terrific. She is amazing, oh. Gabby Ray. She was at the Gallivan's Ferry Stump two yeah. weeks ago today yeah. and did a She's great everywhere. job out there. It's amazing. Only nine years old. Is she just nine? Nine years old. I thought she was 13. Nine. Golly, mm. she's nine. Nine. She's and got the she, voice of a oh, grown woman. I can't wait to train her for the Miss Myrtle Beach Ratchet. Yes, yes, Because yes. she has got one of the best talents I think I've ever seen. And she said she wants to be uh, oh, yeah. in, she, in the yes. pageant, surely uh -huh. first in the yeah. teen pageant and then later in the Miss Myrtle Beach pageant. Yeah, and I, I, to be, she's a woman. 
That is she tremendous. is a winner. Well, speaking of winners, all the young ladies, the women, the girls who performed on February 17th were winners. Yes. They were tremendous. And you oh. had a, a lot of women, but not even half as many women as are going to be in it next oh. year. But you had a we're great We're already turnout. taking applications. Good. And in fact, last night, I, four girls came up to me. And uh, I gave them my number to call me, my, you know, sure. cell number. And they're going to call, and I'm going to meet one on one. Good, Because, Good. you see, talent is the most important thing in this pageant. Is it really? It is. And every year when I took my girls from Myrtle Beach, they were in the top five. On talent? Yeah. They won talent. Uh, Alma Lynn uh, Hayden. She did her talent and won the talent for the whole show. Exactly. Uh, Gretchen Abney. Sure. That emceed the show. Oh, Gretchen yeah. I trained. She won talent. Right. So they were all in the top five, all my girls. But that's because I work with them individual on their talent. Uh huh. And we not only have that, I've changed the show to be like a Broadway show. It shows. Because people... When they come to see this, they're excited about the girls, but yet they want to be entertained. So I get the best entertainers to right. come, and I have a big opening of that show. Mm -hmm. Now nobody else does that. No, no, well, I'm this the only must one. Must be one of the best pageants it throughout is, the state. In of fact, South Carolina, uh, probably Joe, one of the best in the Carolinas. Joe Sanders said it was the top show in uh, South Carolina. You were kidding. Mm -hmm. How did? No, Joe but he Sanders, was, yeah, he, he was here. Gale and oh, yeah. Son Joey owned the Miss South Carolina That's right. pageant. Yes, uh -huh. they're one of the biggest franchisors uh, yeah. in the in the country. Well, see, I go way back with them because I've been in it uh, with Miss America, really forty five years. With that the organization I did. for yeah. that long, mm -hmm. wow! And I used to travel. Uh, after I stopped doing the shows, I did. I was on the judges program. And I'd go to the different states and, and, you know, be one of the judges, right. which is great. It is the most fun you could ever have. You mean judging a state pageant? Oh. What's so fun about a hill? Well, you meet different people that you didn't know before. Yeah. And they come up to you because you're a judge and they want to meet you, you oh, know. Yeah. And it's just exciting, you know, and we get all dressed up, you know. Right. I wore evening gown and, oh, I, you know, it was just fun, fun, fun. I love it. I, I love do, it. too. Well, I, I've seen on your desk there at the Myrtle Beach Herald, the your position there as executive director of the Miss Myrtle yeah. Beach pageant in 1966, I believe. Yeah. But, yeah. To, so you're but I really did it America. before then. I did it in 1964. Uh, uh, is was my right? first. Well, see, I wrote the Miss Sun Fun USA pageant. I didn't know. And that. the Miss Bikini Wahini pageant. Right, right. And um, Fred Brinkman was head of the chamber at the time. Right. And so I did the Miss Sun Fun USA, which we had 50 some girls coming from all over the states. Really? Oh, yeah. It was just like the Miss America pageant. Right. But um, then Joe Sanders and them. Because I was so busy doing that show, they took it away from me. They went and bought the franchise with oh, yeah. Miss America, which was okay because yeah. I still did the Miss Myrtle Beach pageant and sent the girl up there. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful back then. Yeah. I mean, uh, I remember when Nancy Moore got Miss South Carolina. Right. It was exciting because, Later you know. Later Trump. Thurman. Yes, right. that's right. 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 Yes. And you knew her. Oh, yeah. Nancy was a terrific person. And it, what was so funny is that Strom was older than her daddy. <laughs> you were kidding. Yeah. Strom Thurman was uh -huh. older than Nancy yes. Moore's father. Uh -huh. Mr. Wow. Moore was a nice person. Oh, I mean, really nice. And Nancy came from a very good, strong family. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. And, of course, she went on and did a lot of things. And, of course. And now there's a uh, scholarship in her daughter's name that, you know, that was killed. In Columbia, mm. oh, yeah. car hit up, mm. and so there's a big scholarship there, That's the Nancy right. Moore scholarship. Speaking of scholarships, this is all about scholarships. Oh, you know, so all the yes. people just talking about is the beauty pageant, but no, the beauty is you see, uh, this third. America is different than any pageant that there is. Right. Lenore Slaughter, which I knew well because of Hannah Block, 
Uh, I was her protege for eight years. Hannah Block was in Wilmington. In Wilmington, and she um, did the pageant. She wrote the book on the Miss America pageant. Mm. But Lenore Slaughter is the one that brought the Miss America pageant, the first pageant ever. Lenore Slaughter. Yeah. She she was the director and the owner of the pageant. And, of course, it grew and grew every year. Mm -hmm. And um, I can remember I had a... a Myrtle Beach girl, um, Jane Cunningham, which was a beautiful girl. Oh, yeah. And Lenore met her in Greenville. She was there uh, for the pageant, and she just went crazy over it. She said if she gets in Miss America, she'll win. Right. But, right. of course, uh, she was in the top five, first runner-up. Wow. Yeah. We were all excited How about exciting, it. exciting, Hilda. This I must be it. one of the biggest thrills to try uh, to get somebody to represent not only an area, whether it's Myrtle Beach or other areas that you've dealt, Wilmington, oh, yeah. but then to go to South Carolina, go to the big state pageant, whatever mm -hmm. state it is, yeah. be successful, and then go represent that state oh, I know. in the Miss America pageant. It's the most exciting what a huge thing. Coup. I don't think there's another example of that. Of course, there's mm. spelling bees. I know you're real yeah, involved with Optimus right. International. Yeah. They represent That's the true. state on national things, right. there's other things that folks can do, but not like this, mm -hmm. where they go out as Miss South Carolina, and yeah. they go out and really travel all over the U.S., all over the world yeah. as See, Miss America. What got me really involved in it was the scholarship. Right. Because some of the girls that I trained were from poor homes. Right. But they'd have to borrow an evening gown, They'd some borrow swimsuits, oh, yeah. to be in that pageant mm. because they could win that scholarship. Right. And you would not believe the girls that won with their talent oh, that yeah. went on and paid for their education. And mm. that's the wonderful part of it, that families don't have the money, right. can't send them right. to college. Mm -hmm. But this way, we get them there. That's why... Uh, Billy Alford yes. that owns A&I. Right. With Billy the, has been, oh, a savior to me mm -hmm. because of the fact that he has he has helped us get the money. Oh, yeah. And, of course, with the book right. Let me on hold the that front. Up. I don't know if viewers can see that very well, yeah. but in memory of Raymond. <clears throat> Raymond Childs, which Thank Raymond you. was so involved with pageants, the Sun Run and Miss Myrtle Beach pageant. Right, right. Difficult and to see that. And that's why I felt that I wanted to put this in his honor. Well, it was amazing and loving memory of Raymond oh. Child. I'll read to viewers, of course, the official preliminary for the yes. Miss America organization. Of mm -hmm. course, this was dated February 17th, a magnificent book with a lot oh, of I great know. ads in there, yes. almost a 100-page book, and it also gives great uh, promotion for the Paradise Resort oh, yes. and yes. the Ron, the barber's uh, group there mm -hmm. that owned uh, Miss Paradise Resort mm -hmm. and tied into the pageant. Yes. But highlight some other special businesses. Oh yeah, that wrapped around to honor yeah. Raymond Child and oh, his, I know his it. legacy. And well, see, Billy Alford, if it had not been for him, we wouldn't have had that front cover with all those people that gave a thousand dollars just to put each. their name wow. on the ramp surrounding his picture. So it really made me feel good to know that Raymond was thought that well of in this town.